Hey guys, welcome to the ninth episode of, of today's Gundam. Guess who's back? Yes, unfortunately I had uh, growing up things to do, you know, work, bills, mortgage, stuff like that. I know, we missed you. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> so we're going to talk about a few things today. So to, today, first thing we're going to be talking about is the new uh, Unicorn Gundam that, that, we, that they will be building in Japan, or they are building currently right. in Japan, um, in, front of the, in front of the mall. Um, the second thing we'll be talking about is um, your the, friend Kelly. My friend Kelly. Yes. Um, I did a small interview with her. Um, sadly, she couldn't be with us today. She's a good friend of mine. Um, she, I will try to get her on here, but we did a small interview with her, and um, just to get her basis, so you guys can know that there is uh, female uh, gunpla builders and in I wanna the community. Also, I want to I want to applaud the women that actually started following us and actually yes, started thank like thank you, ladies. We do appreciate it. And remember, we're all, we're doing this for y'all and for everybody else, you know. Yes. So. And um, third thing we're gonna talk about is the Gundam of the week. And then we're gonna talk about the new goodies we got in the store, which is the know, new toys. See some. <laughs> There's a lot of new goodies he got. Um, also, just for people to understand and know, um, the owner is a very fair person. He's a good person. Um, if you ask him to get you certain things, he will try his hardest, and he will inform you when he gets them in. Because uh, he did, he did us the favor. Picked up uh, for one of my friends a unit that he wanted, which is a part of the goodies. He ordered an extra one. I remember a couple of weeks ago with the strike. Uh, yeah, the, the strike. The freedom, the kind of freedom for me. And I asked him. He's trying his hardest to get it for me. Is the PG uh, uh, Gundam Titans? Ooh. So Sorry, I had to you know, I need, you know I want that unit really badly. Um, How badly do you want it? Not willing to suck anybody off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll eat the box, but I won't. That actually will still be interesting. <laughs> but anyways, um, so he, yeah, so I just want you guys to know that he's a very fair person. If you ask for any type of kits, any type of car, okay, he does the RC cars. He does the little racer, the little uh, track racers. Ask him to get it. He will try his hardest. He will look into it. Just give him. You got to give him the exact model number or the exact name so he can look it up. Also, he has to do drones. So if you guys are looking, for, especially now that it's hot outside, yeah, it's summertime. There's boats, drones, cars, things like that. Yeah, they can take outside and you know, have fun with. Go it. have fun with it. Go knock yourself out. Just stay within. Uh, what is it? FCC, the Federal Air. Uh, uh, anyway, but just just don't break any laws, please. And then um, yeah, just go outside, get some fresh air. You know, don't stay inside all the time. But like I said, he is a fair man. He will get you what you need. He'll try. He'll try his best to get you what you need. And if you, you know, and that's it. Um, so we're gonna do the weekly other units, and uh, we have a little surprise for you at the end of the episode. Awesome. So well, actually, we're first gonna talk about unicorn, the new statue. Yes. Which again, you and I are both classic people. We're both fans of the Grandpa Game Boy. I mean, why do I keep calling it Game Boy? Let's <laughs> talk about Granddaddy um, RX-78-2. Yes. Uh, the gra the Granddaddy of Gundams, the original, they had a huge, sta a life-size statue of him in Japan, and they took him down for the Unicorn. Which is new generation. Right. Um, which will be the new generation, and within about 20 years, probably be considered uh, the, the next face. Granddaddy. Yeah, it, it, I would think it's going to be the new face of Gundam. It will be. So uh, that's I think that's what they were trying to go for that. Me personally, I'm still a fan of the original one. I would have best picked. Like, are they going to be Olympics this year? What? Uh, in Japan? Or is it Brazil? Of what? For the Olympics. I think it's Brazil. Okay. So if they would have got the the Olympics, I would have liked to seen uh, freedom. Or maybe vic victory. I said victory early. Yep. Victory. There's a lot of uh, better choices they could have done. But Unicorn, the only reason they chose Unicorn because he is the face of today. He is the face of Gundam today, which is because they have the new Unicorn series, or the remodel of Unicorn series. Are they going to actually show him like in battle mode or like force mode or just regular white? He's going to be force mode. Okay. so he's Well, he's going to go from force mode, as I'm hearing, he's going to be able to transform from regular mode, force mode to... Um, oh, they're actually going to have him transform on the... And they're oh. going to have the LED lights and all that stuff. That's going to be... That's going to be butted. All right, but I just don't like the height of it. It's shorter than the granddaddy. When this unicorn actually topples over the granddaddy. Okay. 
But besides that, they, they chose that because of the new generation. Granted, the anime is good. No, not to say not to say anything bad about the anime. Yeah. But there was other series they, they, they could have picked, picked from. from that one. There was other um, models or like statues they could have picked from. Yes. Them. And like as I said, with the whole Olympics thing, I I know we were talking about the wing the wing zero custom, you know, the endless walls. The wings probably would have fell off and stabbed somebody, you know. Or cut somebody in half with some, you know, um, Final Destination stuff going on. Yeah, we don't need that. We're, we're not we're not pro death here, people. So, you know, just so you're not. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, like, you could have been Exia. You know how hot that would have been? Like, just turn on the engine and... That's it. You know, but I think it's, I think it's a nice idea. I don't think Unicorn is actually the face of Gundam, but everybody keeps going on it, though. And it's because of the show. It's because of the anime and because of the, the manga. The manga's really good, too, by the way. Um, it's just, the show has so many great characters. That's what it is. It has so many great characters. Granted, the main character is a little bit of a pushover, or whatever. But you know, you, you got the you know, and you got all these good units. You got the Kachatria, great unit. Um, you got Banshee Nord. You got Phoenix. You got the Rezel, the Rezel Commander. Um, there's there's so many in yeah. this series. Like there's there's the you got the Sananju. No, that's that's your baby. That's my baby. It's forever my baby. I don't own one yet. That's the messed up part. Well, I know what to get you for Christmas. It's fine now. I I, 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 already, I already have my eye on a titanium build that I plan on ordering. It's already in my list. Okay. Titanium build. Yes, there is a titanium build. Of this same one, but it says titanium build. Titanium finish on it, which is plastic still, but with a titanium finish. Like, like, a, metal, like a metal shiny? Oh, God. It's so gorgeous. Kind of like what, what I do with my kids, where I have like that, but I actually spray it. Yeah. Yeah. That, and they have the OVA version, which is with the original colors from the show. All right, well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I can't wait to see what what we're gonna have to do with you know with the new Gundam, yeah. new Gundam statue. You know, but I would have liked to take a picture with the original like, oh, before they took it down. Um, I am well, I'm on my bucket list. I'm definitely going out to Japan for my 40th birthday. So that's one of my dreams. So I, I just plan on doing the whole Quagwire episode of Family Day. You know, like my thousand sexual conquests. Whoa! Episode. Okay. <laughs> So, then, we're going to flip over, and in one second, we're going to start talking about our Miss Kelly. Yes, oh. my good friend Kelly. Um, she's a good friend of mine. We play Vanguard together. Okay. Carpet Vanguard. If you guys don't know what it is, look it up. It's um, You go to the Bushy Road website, or you can Google Card Fight Vanguard. That's not something you should um, say in public. Like Bushy Road? Bushy Road. Bushy Road. Like Bushio? Oh, Bushido. I thought you said Bushy. I was like, wow. No, it's, yeah, Bushy Road, Bushido. Oh, okay. But, um, so you go check out Bushy Road. You can watch the show on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll has it. It has, I want to say nine, maybe no, ten seasons. Ten, a lot. Ten, yeah, yeah, ten seasons. It's for every, uh, pack, basically. Um, okay. but it's a really good show. You, you know, look into that. It's, but besides the point, she's a good friend of mine. Play card fight. We hang out once in the blue. Her boyfriend is a very good friend of mine also. Um, I'm one of the people who helped start her to start building. So, um, or I gave her the incentive. So, but All yeah, right. um, I'm going to get into her interview questions. And, um, you know, at least so you know that there is vocal females in the community. And there is females in the community. So the females who watch or who follow us, you know, just don't be afraid to, you know, um, speak out. We're, we're fluffy. Don't worry. We ain't going to hurt you. I'm not fluffy. Not fluffy. I'm a fat piece of <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to be getting into this interview. A uh, good friend of my, Kelly, like I said. Um, she, you know, she started off with a, she actually only started off with high grades. She has a master grade that she owns. She has yet to build it. Um, this girl goes nuts when we walk into a Gundam store, though. Um, <laughs> this is one in Elizabeth Center. It's a little small shop, but this guy has all the, this guy has all the updated, um, you know, kits. And last time we walked in there, she just lost her freaking mind. 
Did you spend about two hundred dollars? Well, that's pretty much how it was when I was in high school. When I first went to Chinatown, then yeah, I was in high school. I was working at a pizzeria. I was selling porn. I was I was working at a pizzeria high school, and I actually got two of my my own custom items put onto the menu. Nice. Yes, I like to cook, ladies uh, and gentlemen. I, I love to cook. This this took a lot of years of hard hard work right here, people. You know what's funny? I don't I like to cook, but I don't like to eat my own food sometimes. I just like no. to I just like to look at it and go off like yes. Nope. Um, like, I'll, I'll taste it, make sure it tastes good, but I just like to look at it. Nope. I like to admire my work. I I make some badass calamari. Uh, like I'm more I'm more into uh into uh, Italian food. Yeah. So So as we said we're gonna start talking about uh, Miss Kelly. Yes. Well oh, yeah. alright, whatever. <laughs> Folks, I'm telling you, this is a live show. This is not like reaches of Kathleen. No, it, that dude died, didn't he? No. Kathleen Lee is not there anymore. No reaches is not there. So it's Kelly and, and whoever. I'm a black guy. Now. I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't watch. I don't watch garbage. I don't watch garbage neither. But she's she's absolutely obnoxiously annoying. I, I watch CNN a lot. Yeah, I I watch That's CNN it. and Brooklyn News, but this chick, this this Kelly chick, not your friend Kelly, the Kelly that's on TV needs a like Hanzo dragon bullshit arrow straight to the head, like just dragons just just coming out of nowhere. But um, yeah, let's get into the interview question. So the first question I asked her is, uh, where are you from and how old are you? Um, she is from New York, obviously, because she is a good friend of mine. Um, and how old is she? She is twenty four. Um, so, and next question I asked is when and why did you start building Gundams and Gunpla? Um, her answer was, I started building Gunpla completely by chance. I, I am a big anime fan. Yes, she is. She is a hard, oh my god. The amount of crap that she ordered from Yuri on Ice blew my mind. I wanted to yell at her, but it's just like, you know what, that's your thing. I'm not gonna, you know. I'm gonna rock your boat. So, I love you Kelly, by the way. <laughs> But anyways, and um, you know, she hasn't watched many of the Gundam series, so but um, and just happens to see the AG Nobel okay. on Crunchyroll. So Crunchyroll has their own little um shop. They just order Gundams, statues, shirts, stuff like that. So she saw the AG Nobel. She told me about it first, cause she said, "Oh, this looks cool," and I was like, "Where did you see that?" And she's like, "Oh, it's on Crunchyroll." I was like, what? I need it. I would rock. I would rock a, a Nobel T-shirt. No, no, but I just no. You, you don't understand the the amount of need I need. I, I was sitting like I need it and want it. She's like, what's wrong? I was like, that's the only one I'm missing from the set because I have all the G series kits or H um the HG one besides Nobel, which at that now I have it now, so I'm completed. Um, I had the Berserk one, okay. Berserk Nobel, which is a great kit by the way too. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so she saw the HG Nobel on a country store, and um, she was surprised to see the female unit. And um, yeah, because the, the most of the problem with most of the kids from back in the days, like, especially with most of the shows, the females were like the female Gundam always had some fruity color, but it was it was like the main Gundam but fruity color. Yeah, this was the actual first Gundam that actually had an act that other to look like a female. Yeah, so. There's that, and um, she asked the people, asked a few of us that, that we she knew that built Gundam, and she was like, "Hey, you know, what do you know about this?" I explained everything about about it because I am the biggest G Gundam fan. Okay. So, because that's the only show that you can pilot with your body. Right. Use your body as you, your body's the gun. What was that song? Shake your body. <laughs> so, um, and she has, you know, she has a family member, you know, she a cousin that she grew up with. And um, you know, she always seen Gundams on his stuff. He had he had model kit stuff on his computer. She had the Destiny C the picture up on his computer. So you know, she she knew about them. So she was in the vicinity of yeah. Gundam. Um, she completed Nobel. That was which was her first kit ever. Okay. Uh, May twenty seventh, two thousand sixteen. So yeah, and um, you know, we, me and a couple other people helped her build. We gave her some pointers. We let her borrow some tools. Has she been into any of the workshops? No, recently? she has not, but I'm trying to get her, which we need to get people into these workshops. Um, if you feel like you can make it, please comment below. Um, I will try to answer you personally because I'm the one in charge of it. Um, I've been trying to make sure I have my Saturdays free or Sundays free so we can be here. Yeah, unfortunately I can't because my schedule has me working specifically on Saturday and Sunday. 
So I can't be here at all. So I'm trying to make sure we can get these groups going. But anyways, um, for the next question is, uh, what's your favorite kind of anime? Now she hasn't really watched any real anime. So you know, she started watching I'm Blood Orphans or IBO, which is a good series to start with. Great series. She started watching but never finished it. That was the problem. So because she's you know, she, she you know, we're grown ups basically. Right. Um, she started watching Gun in the Wind, same thing, never finished it, but the only one she has finished was during vacation when she, I think she went to Japan, is um, Bill Fighters. Okay. And Which Bill Fighters is a great series also. Yeah, they're great series. Um, but Bill Fighters spoke to her the most is because of the fact that it's more realistic. It was, it was, it, 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 you know, it, 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 I guess it's because it they, meshed with her. I guess because she can actually see the, it's an anime inside of an anime. Yeah. So like, she's an anime head. She loves anime. It's a toy that you control inside the yeah, you know, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a hot idea. I mean, not for nothing, Bandai yeah. did hit hit the hit landmark. No, and the fact that these kids in the show they have to build their own kits, and so you know it hits in there. It hits a nerve because we do the same thing. Right. So it's like Pokemon with cards. So yeah. Like like if they ever did a Pokemon card thing or like show like Yu Gi Oh like yeah. with the animals that come out. Card fight Vanguard. Oh uh, yeah. So, um, then I asked her what's her most favorite kit and least favorite kit. So, um, I got a question. Did you give her a list of Gundam series to watch? Yes, I did. I gave her G, Destiny, uh, and I think the original? And the original. Okay. Because I told her she needs to learn the roots. Right, of course. She always needs to learn the roots. So, and I, I expressed to her, because I expressed to you guys, do not watch. We come pista. Okay. Is, is it's, it's, right. yeah, garbage. Yeah, that's. But you should have told her at least to watch Double Zero at least once. And then she's got to start off small. You know what I mean? I would have liked Double Zero for her because uh, she, that way she would have. She rewatches so much Yuri and I. Yeah, but with Double Zero, she would have started off with a character that's not Japanese. No, of course. Yeah. But um, yeah. So her least favorite kit was uh the original first original HG, Yakushi. Yeah. Now this one was gold plated. Don't get me wrong; it is a nice little kit. There's hinge problems on this. There's joint problems on this. If uh, if it's in the heat, the paint chips off. The plating. What? Yo, that is bananas. Just Don't remember, this was when Bandai first started. I understand that, but oh carajo, like, damn. Yeah. So you know, she she liked the kit, but then she didn't like the kit. She likes the way it looks. Yeah. It's, she didn't like building it. It's a beautiful display, but. Even I, even from what you told me, and from like, even I'm not yeah. a fan. Like I've actually looked up that that kit, and it's like I'm not a fan of it. I don't, I don't need to do it. So, um, but there is new models of the HG uh, Yakushiki and MG Yakushiki, which we'll get into in a bit. But anyways, um, and her favorite was the Amazing Axia. Wait, so no, but this is this is this is Trans Am. No, no, this is Trans Am. But I'm just saying, Amazing Axia both fighters. Oh! Oh, oh! Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Okay, if you would uh, give me a second, I can actually show you guys the Trans Am. Oh, no, just. Oh. Oh, yeah, like, no, no, it's alright. I'll show it in the thing. I'll show it in the clip. Because okay, we, we have it here. Anyways, but yeah, so she has the. She liked the Amazing Axia. Um, the Amazing Axia was her favorite because she likes the colors on it. Okay. Um, she likes the person who piloted it in the show. And um, that got her into buying AMG Dark Matter. Now she that's hasn't started it yet, but she loves the color scheme. That's actually the one of one, one of the few that I, my boy, my my brother from another like this is my brother from yeah. He bought me for my birthday and sent it to me. So Jay, this is I need to send you this one, and I want to do LEDs on that one, like that way to bring out the dark, like make yeah. it look like night ready, like you know, like yeah. crazy shit. So, but, continue. Um, the next questions I asked her, I asked her two questions, but they basically pertain to the same thing. Okay. So I uh, asked her, what tips would you have for fellow Gundam builders, gun club builders, and female gun club builders? She said just to have fun and enjoy yourself. Okay. That's it. Which most, most of the time, that's what we do anyway. Yes. I mean, if you don't enjoy this, people, don't do it. If you're not, if you're not feeling it, just find whatever is your niche and do that. Yes. Just be safe about it. And um, lastly, I asked her what topics would she would she like 
for us to talk about on the show. Okay. Um, so one of hers were one of her ideas was uh, rare kits, which I have a great list of rare kits I'm because sure. I have, have had issues and I have bought many rare kits. So I'm a fan of of uh, kits that have been retired. I guess you can say like they don't they don't make them. They're yeah. out of they're out of uh, manufacture. Like it, like it was like I said, Nobel. Nobel was originally an old kit, right? And then they recently reprinted. Right. Well, look at the ones that look at how hard a time we had with the Gundam X one. Yeah, like that was a hard kit. Well, the, the other people of the of the series, yeah, they're hard to find, especially the chest breaker one. Yes, I didn't know, and I had them. I had the one forty four one, and that was my first 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 first, first kit because I wanted that bad boy. Now they're charging like two hundred dollars for it pre built. I was like, what is wrong with you? Um, another thing she would like for us to talk about is uh. High resin kits, high resolution kits, excuse me, high resolution okay. kits, metal builds. Which you, I heard you want to work on soon. Yes, I plan on buying a metal build red So oh, I, I thought you were going to do this one, the, the Titan. No, no, the one I was talking about to you um, was the titanium finish. Now, I want the metal build the red straight because I own, that will be the only one of the red straight series I'm missing besides the PG. Okay. Because that red straight is my, the hands down, number one. Besides God, uh, God got them under it. Is registered. Okay. I love my register. So um, she wants us to talk about that, and um, also, which is a good idea, we can do this, is for us to talk about kits that have been made available, kits that deserve that deserve MGs, HGs. That's a good answer. Thank you, Ms. Cohen. You know, what I mean, there's, there's there is a lot of kits. I know you people have. You know, ideas of what kits should be made. You know, and actually, it would help us in the comments below. Just let us, let us know. You know, hey, you know, this kit should have been made. You know, or this unit should have been made a kit. You know what I mean? The, you know, I personally think they should start doing some of the, the gunships that they have in the show. I would like to actually, which that's a project that we're working on. I'm not gonna. Sh I will show you one day, people. One day it will happen. That's something that's gonna be amazing to see because. Like they have the the ships, but it's not. They're like this small. Yeah, but they're not built. No. Yeah, no, I seen them. They should start doing at least one more one hundred to them, or at least one more one forty four. Yeah, at least let us build them. Let let us do something crazy with them. Yes. So. But that's a, thank you, Miss Kelly. That's actually you know, just note that I mean you're his friend, but now you're part of us. Yes. Part of the family. But I know. So that's Kelly. Kelly, thank you. Um, uh, uh, you know, I love you, but God stop with the and I shit. <laughs> excuse me, excuse my language, but you know, just, just too much. You know, what do you think of... Every time I go on to Facebook, I see something near you, and oh God, scroll fast. Oh, there's another one. Oh God, scroll fast. What do you What do you think of Miss Kelly tr um, subbing for me in the next couple of weeks? I, I could try to get it here. It's going to be difficult, you know, because we all are adults. We all have jobs. We right. all have things to do. Remember, folks, I told you last week I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be here in July, so I'm going to go on vacation soon. So we are we are still taking the contest for who's going to be the co-host for the couple of weeks that I'm not going to be here. And, and I think we can get um on you know our friend my friend Adam you met him right good friend of mine. Uh, Vlad, that's going to be very difficult since he uh, he works nights. Oh, um, anybody named Vlad should never work nights because that's just going to be creepy as shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, your name is Vlad. I'm thinking of Vladimir and like Vlad. Jer I love you too, by the way. And Dracula, like, I love know. you. You know, but <laughs> you know, he has personal issues with your name. No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> Vlad is actually pretty cool. It's just out of all the like Vlad, like, and I love Vlad the Impaler. I actually did a report on him in, in a Catholic high school, which was not the brightest idea. Yeah. Um, but we're actually gonna go up to the next subject, which, which will be, be the new toys. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh no, end of the week. week. It's the cousin of the week. Oh, I actually, I really need to make a theme, like something like just pop out in your face. Um, so, again, I told you folks, I haven't been making any new kits yet. I've been showing you ones that I've actually pre-built. Um, if you realize it's not the right colors, 
This is actually a custom made that I've made, a uh, custom work. Uh, I'm a big Transformer fan. Again, my Starscream last week. Yeah. This is Thundercracker. Well, next no, week, Skywarp. This is Skywarp. Well, Thundercracker. Next week I'll be bringing something I built. It's um, it's a recent, it's a recent kit that was that came out. Okay. Um, I had to buy the last one here. Okay. But um, it's a recent kit. Is that the bad boy that I saw on the web page? No. Uh, but it is a recent kit, um, and also I will as soon as possible, as soon as I can get it. I'm waiting for it to come in. I ordered from Japan a uh, Heavy Arms Custom Master Grade. Uh, wow! How much that's actually back? Uh, Seventy-five dollars. That's not bad. Because somebody was asking for like a, like a buck fifty for that one. I found it on Amazon. That's not bad. It's not bad. But um, I will come with that. And I'm doing a custom build on it. This one I'm making it digital camo. Uh, digital I'm, camo, so American digital camo. I'm gonna make the guns look as real as possible. I'm gonna make everything look as real as possible. Also, I'm gonna be doing um, I'm gonna be doing some rough etching. I'm gonna make it look like it just came out of battle. I'm gonna do all the works on it. I'm gonna make the background for it too. That's not like a bad idea. I can't wait to finish it. So it won't be there. Won't be no space for it to be in the case though for the contest. Oh no, we're probably gonna have to put it on the top. Yeah. Especially after what I'm, what I just told you today, when I'm officially because I just bought the, the yeah. material. So when I finish that bad boy, that's gonna be. Yeah. That's. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he, he, he likes them big. That's what he is. Okay. Guys, he likes them big. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> not down. Not that. Not. The, now you got me started. <laughs> like I'm not down for that one. He's nervous. It's okay, late. It's okay. It's okay, fellas. It's okay. So break him out of his shell. <laughs> he will not take my chair anytime soon. Thank you. Um, so the gun of the week I picked from the Double Zero series. Again, folks, it's not uh, the the actual the actual kit. It's actually the I actually customized this one a little bit more because I wanted to make him. Uh, Skywarp from Transformers. So I made all three jets, which was Starscream, Thundercracker, Skywarp. Which, if you're gonna bring in yours, I'll wait till next week to bring in the other one, Sky, uh, Thundercracker. Um, I actually have the names written down on each one too. It's like, hey, Thundercracker. So, the proper name for this one is Delukidios. I kept calling it cryos. I don't know why. I think it's like from well, there's no there's no arm. I know. Okay. It's the the yeah. 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 But Kirios, uh reason one of the reason why I picked this this specific kit was because he transformed. Uh, he transformed into a jet. So again, the whole transformer thing. Uh, it was a hot. He was actually pretty hot in the series. Yeah. Even when they like spoil alert, but like when he blew up like half his body in the last battle. Oh yeah. And he was still fighting with like half like half a body still like like messing up. Which if you're looking for another good fight, something similar to that, you got the YouTube Gun the Bill Fighters uh try on fight. That was a hot one. That was Other definitely a hot fight. one. That was that was a like which which another thing I will be working on too, because um our, our friend Vlad. He got me, gave me the idea. I'm gonna do a custom build of Tryon. Ooh. Ooh. I want to see him. I really want to see him. All right. So, going back to this dude, his his character in the series was very unique. Like he had like this uh, split personality, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. Schizophrenic. Yeah, schizophrenic. But he was also like a Captain America type of thing, where he was the they they made they try to make him he's a super soldier. Yeah, he's, he's a new type. type, but they try to make him a super soldier with the new type formality behind him. But it ended up like really messing with his mind and giving him a split personality. And his alternate personality is like the Joker, like let's go do this, <laughs> like just like just totally nuts. I loved when when they used to um, talk to each other in the window. Yeah. And he used to talk to his alternate personality. He'll be in the window and just talking to his alternate personality and he'll be like, who are you talking to? Um, again, folks, I was not, like, I love the Double Zero series. This kit was actually pretty simple to make. 
The only bad thing was with these freaking rubber stuff. Like those uh, yeah, I had the same issue with my axe. Yeah. Oh, I hate those things. Those are. I understand what they were trying to do with that. Like try to like pop it out, try to make it more like you know fancy. But it just looks, especially if you're painting it or if you're trying to do something and it crackles. Yeah, they can't move it. That's why I, I position the line and then I put the tape on it and then print it. Uh, but like it was just this kit. Like I really do love this kit because I love, I worked myself to the bone with this kit. I had to primer him at least four times to get his dark color because he's white, orange, and black. So the orange would always keep popping out. So remember when we were talking about a couple of weeks ago primary? That's what we need to do, especially with certain kits. If you want to change the color and actually get this deep purple like I have over here, that was a, a nightmare and a half. I can imagine, but that's why with my actually I went with a with a gray primer. Right, but that was a that was a hot primer though. That was, I mean, the, but you went black on black. I'm actually going lighter. No, I went black on gun though. Yeah, right. but it's still black on black. It's a little gray. Okay, but it's very dark gray. Okay, it's already dark gray, but it's. It's like It'll black gray. Right. Okay. You know about the Whatever. Dark gray. Pota potatoes. Uh, potato tomato. Yeah. There you go. So. Tomato tomato. Thank you. That's that's what I was looking for. But it's obviously potato tomato. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, this kit is still. I mean, it still transforms. It's still a wonderful kit. I think it's. It was it was a fun kit to make, especially transform. I don't like the jet mode too much because I was expecting it to be more jet ish, but it just looks like a mesh. Like his shoulders fold down and like just like you go like this, and then his his legs come up and his oh look wings and then that's it. Yeah. You know I was hoping like when I show you Thundercracker, which is actually the Air Master from Gundam X, that's and the same thing goes with um, the Savior, where it actually looked more jet. Like, yeah. he just looked kind of straight. Like, he was just kind of like a brick with wings coming out the side. And kind of disappointed me with, with the whole transformation. Yeah. But I think the kit is actually beautiful. Like, I love the the knee pads and everything on him. Um, like, as I said, I always try to do the the height and everything so that that way you, you know, you get the idea. The height's actually... Dude, this thing is 62 feet tall. Stories? Yeah. No, uh, three stories. About two and a half stories almost. About, almost about two, three stories. That's how big he is. And meanwhile, he was like one of the skinnier ones out of the group. Yeah. Yeah. He was, him and, and uh, Exy were the two skinnier ones. Yes. So, for him to be that tall and almost, what, like a... 54 tons? Yeah, he was 54.8 tons. Yeah, that is heavy. I think it was the the the, it's the backpack. Yeah, because overall his his actual uh, exo frame was a light. Yeah, it was just it's, it's transformation. Right, uh, that's very heavy. Yeah. So, so again, have you ever built this kit before, or have you? I'm, this kit, I would actually give about a seven. I plan on building the the Rezzo Command. Okay, that's right. Delta, Delta Command too, Delta. or the Rezzo. Okay. Rezzo is also another transforming unit. Um, well, I'm actually still thinking about doing three more jets though, because remember you had uh, Dirge, Thrust, and um, what was the other one? I forgot what the other one. The other three jets that came out after. Um, the, the original three, which was Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. You had the other three, who were the three brothers, which I wanted to do them. Or I was actually thinking about maybe doing a big one and making making uh, some of the aerial bots from, from the Autobots. Okay. Like I was thinking maybe doing them in the future. Like and actually have them looking at each other like, like what's up, son? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would give this kid about a 7, 7.5. Simply for the fact of these rubber things, sturdiness, he, he would have got an easy nine. Yeah. Easy, easy straight nine if it wasn't for the sturdiness. Hot. One of the hotness though, the hot thing was that everything moves and like this thing actually opens up too. Yeah, because of claw. Yeah, it becomes a claw and that, and I have the dagger in the box and everything. 
again, like, bad part, the transformation was not that great. As you see, this is the back piece that you have to deal with. So, it didn't fold down. So it's really cumbersome to to put in the display. Yeah. Like when we were trying to put the display over here, it was really cumbersome, really like, like kind of go over the back. Um, but overall, I, that's why I gave it a 7.5. 7 well, you know, some kids are harder than others, some kids are you know, more terrible than others. And, um, you know, like I, I showed you guys last week, uh, I sp uh, spoke about it, uh, not last week, the week before, was uh, the Kiyaku Chi. Right. I remember how, how bad it was originally. Right. So, you know, it, you know, and this is not a great kit, I see, basically, but it is a good kit. Right. So, but now, let's get into the new goodies. Let's get into the new toys. So, oh, yeah. A few things, a few things that he's gotten in. So, number one will be the Exia Trans Ammo. Double O series. Now, you know what Exia is. It's basically an original Exia with the different colors. Trans Am, Trans -am mode is very hard to come by. Right. That I will say. And Trans Am mode is pretty broken from the show. So, there's that. Next is Sinatra. Which is your baby. Oh, yes. My favorite. One of my favorite villain units. Or evil units. What do you want to call it? Or, but, yes. Um, the Sinatra is a great, powerful unit. Um, it is a uh, descendant of the Sazabi. Okay. Alright, that's why you look so bad at So, if you guys don't know who Sazabi is, look at it. Yeah. Sanaju is a great unit. It is a master grade. Um, the Exia will run you, if you come in store, about $65. And now if you get the Sanaju, the Sanaju would run you between $75 and $80. <laughs> but, you, but you can't you can't deny the the workmanship yes yeah. thing uh, next we're gonna get into is the Zaku 2 Zaku uh, great good grunt unit you know it's always good to have grunt units I own a couple few I own a few grunt units so good kits you get and lastly one of the goodies 2.0 Kiyaku Shiki go play it. <laughs> Now, the 2.0 is good for several reasons. First of all, they fixed all the mistakes. Oh, really? Yes, they fixed all the mistakes. They got rid of the Crayola gold. It's all gold plated, as you see on the sides. Yeah, he looks shiny. Um, it's a lot thinner. Really? Yes, they, they made it. They modeled it more after the show than they did just trying to build it. Okay. So, um, so because he's thinner, wouldn't it have? Since he's thinner, wouldn't it have more problems? So wait. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yes, good. Right. This, folks, always remember this is a live show. You know, like that's cool. Chip. We we have customers coming yeah. in and out. So, yes. and we are at. Thank you, you know, guys. Have Thank a good day. Have a happy Fourth of July. Yes. Likewise. You know, we are at the Ryu right. Young Hobby Shop on right. Fifth Avenue and Sixtieth right. Street. You know, come in, say hello, say hello to Kevin. Hey, you may be able to spot us sometime. Yes. So, I'm always here. Uh, my bus is right there. So. But um, yes, and like I said, there was um, they fixed all the issues with Yakushiki. Um, my friend Vlad is he's waiting to come pick this up as soon as possible, as soon as he can get out, like or get a free day to get it. Okay. So, but yeah, these are some units you can pick up at the store. He has some high grades. He has um, he has paint. He has tools. He, he has, has oh drones. And he also has. hold on, little. Oh yeah! I want to zoom in on this one. New toys, new toys, new, new toys. This new is toys. no. This is for the master grades. Um, there's something new. Uh, this is not Bandai, but he did get it. Okay. Um, which we, uh, you know, um, I hate to say Jeremy's gonna waste his money on, but not waste. But he's gonna give all his money to Kevin at this point. Listen, I'm getting raped by two Asian men, and not not even in a sexual way. So, yeah, it's not pleasurable to you. No, uh, guys, he's looking, he's, he's looking for an opening. <laughs> Anyways, um. Light up um, sabers. That's, that's hot, dude. You can't you can't and deny that. That's these not are hot. the ones that if you uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, it looks like the ones in the show, mm -hmm. which it has like the little burning effect to it. So yeah, and that'd it, be hot for a Star Wars effect, like you know, like yes, if, you, if you want to do like a Kylo Ren type of thing. But yes, this has um, these clips to the um, high grades, eh, sorry, the master grades. The handles right here, 
It has a little battery. He knows about handles. I think that's yeah. full. You see that has small handle? It has a smaller handle too, so you have two options. So you have the bigger handle and a smaller handle. This lights up. This will add a great effect if you're doing customs. Yes. If, or you just want a night light at home. That works too. I'm, I'm down for that. I would actually be like, Oh no, once, once in the blue, when I'm, before I go to sleep, I, I turn on my uh, my double O riser. I have lightsabers. Because uh, my double O riser has the two GN drives and his eyes light up. So I just press the button once, it lights up for like 20 seconds and then I fall through. No, I actually have like uh, lightsabers from uh, sab oh. from Ultra Sabers. But, you know, he's another little goodie. He also ordered some weapon parts for the high grades and master grades. Oh, and new um, detailing toys like like Putty. Like yes, he ordered Putty, he ordered... um. You ordered uh, stuff to um, you know, um, to thin the paint, to thicken the paint, to uh, and you ordered better glue, different glues. Yes. He has everything here. Just, yes. This, you know, you this get to come by, stop by. You'll see. You, this, he has all. When it comes to building, he has all your building needs. When it comes to kits, he will try to accommodate you as much as possible. That's true. And he, it, you know, just put in an order. He will get it for you as soon as possible, and he will inform you. He will ask you either for your email or your phone number. He will call you as soon as he gets it in, or he will email you as soon as he gets it in. So he doesn't have me on speed up. And also, he also posts on Instagram, and he posts on the Facebook page, our Facebook page, and his own Facebook page. Which I gotta actually put the Instagram up on the yes. thing. And he posts it into the page, and he updates all the time when he gets some stuff in, whether it be Gundam, RC, drones, anything else like that. Folks, again, it's, it's summertime. Buy a drone, buy a plane, buy a boat. Go have fun. Go knock yourself out. Just don't fall in. And oh so, yeah. I seen a kid. I seen, I seen a kid fall in Central Park, and you know, I know his mom was mad at me, but I, I pointed and laughed for about thirty minutes. I, I would do the same. Thing. For about thirty minutes, and um, <laughs> that kid cried. I laughed more as he cried. <laughs> um, my humor is very dark. People, I like when people this, get this hurt. Is, this is why we get along so well because we have this like dark, like demented humor. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, I would have cried. I would have just been like, bah! <laughs> like just exactly. Um, but yeah, we again, folks, pick up your pick up a condom kit, and you know we're gonna be doing contests in the future. We're actually gonna start talking about. We're actually by the end of the. We're gonna start talking about it now. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it now. Let's pass me that kit. Let's do it. So so we're gonna do at the store a. A little giveaway, right? Little right. giveaway, little giveaway. So um, we're gonna do this little giveaway. Um, we're gonna do it once every few months, maybe. Um, we will announce the beginning of the contest at the beginning of, the, of that month, and we will announce the winner of that contest end of the month. So for this month coming up, which will be July, right. will be the Zaku to RG unit. Now, um, me personally, not a big fan of RGs. You know that. Right. Uh, I personally like building the skeletons. The skeletons basically come pre-built. You just gotta click them together. But they are nice looking units though. No, this is actually a really sick. I like the detail on them. Like, yes, like no, the, the, the one thing people got, you people gotta understand with the real grades. Real grades are, they're more fit for the anime. Okay. They aim towards the anime. Like if you look at the color schemes compared to high grades okay. or master grades, they try to fit it towards the anime more than they would the kit. Which that's why they look so hot. But yes. again, for like people like us that want to customize, the skeleton kind of, kind of like yeah. set, set us back. It's, yeah, it's 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 it uh, halts us. Yeah, you know, from even doing anything with it. But this will be the prize for the July contest. Right, It'll be a giveaway. Um, we will again. I apologize for the video. I'm sorry. I was working. You know, I posted up the video yesterday. Yes. Uh, there was supposed to be a contest from yesterday, from last month, but I, unfortunately, I've, I've been really working a lot, and we've been, you know, we've been really busy. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I apologize. I actually put it, you know, I'm, we are very sorry about the video. Um, but, you know, things happen, but um, you want to get into how to do the contest? How are we going to do this? Okay, so... Back to this contest. Now, the, this contest, um, the way it's going to work is um, you would have to go to the real young hobby shop online store, uh, you know, purchase something, and you'll be automatically entered into the contest. Now, we will announce the winners um, on our show, 
and on the website. That's right. So and we'll announce it on Instagram, on our Instagram, and the Real Young Instagram. Right. So we will put in the uh, in the section below the links for everything. Right. Um, now you need to, like I said, you need to make a a, a purchase. Right. You need to make a purchase. So if you make a purchase, you will automatically enter. Um, also, um, you know, in the video, if you did purchase, please, you know, comment in like. the video. Comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button that's right there. And let us know that you purchased something. Because we can't check because we are at the store. Right. So, and we will, and at the end of the month, we will randomly select a winner for this uh, beautiful Zaku 2. Yeah, and at least say comment, like, comment saying, like, I'm entering, or like, you know, like, I want to enter. Something that says that, yeah. that you're entering so that we know who's actually. Who's who. And, um, yeah, um, we hope you guys participate. It'll be a great experience, um, and you know, good luck to the people, good luck to all of you, and um, whoever wins this, well, congratulations and ahead of time. But um, yeah, thank you for watching today. So, so what's our final thoughts then? Final thoughts, final thoughts, final thoughts. What are we going to talk about next week? Oh wait, next my, week. Well, my final thought is that you know, they should have made a Char's Zaku, but you know, that's, that, that, that's besides the point. Um, final thoughts, um, I will... Me personally, I will either bring in a unit that I'm working on, or I was thinking about bringing in one of my Zoids. Okay. Because we, we have he, does, he does great Zoids, though. Like, honestly, he has... I would have loved to build the Zoids back in the days, but you actually done some yes. craziness with them, so... So I will bring in my Zoid in one of these days, or maybe the next episode. I'm going to see. It is big, and yeah, I can't put it back in the box. Because it's... It's heavy, too. <laughs> <laughs> big and heavy. Um, also, I will make a list of all rare, rare units. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true too. Like we'll we'll look at rare units and discontinued units. Yes. Because over the years, a lot of series have been discontinued. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of hard to find. Some se some series are actually a hundred dollars just for yeah. just for a one forty four. Yeah, no, Nobel before it got reprinted was like seventy dollars on Amazon. And that's the regular Nobel. The Berserk was like more than that. God damn. Um, we'll do that. And um, comment below uh, also, um, you know, what kits you think should get a, uh, what units you think should get a kit? What would you like to see as, as the Gundam of the Week? That too. Hey, maybe, maybe you give us a project to do. Maybe like we'll buy yeah, give us some homework. Yeah, give us some homework. Like maybe we'll, we'll buy, like both of us will have to buy like Exia. And work on it on our own time and show you what we can get together. Yeah, we can do that. You know, like something so comment a, comment a unit that you would like us to do to feature here, but also comment what kit what units you think deserve a kit, because that's that, that that's a main concern. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of units I can think of. Yeah, I have like exactly. So, but thank you for watching. Thank you. Comment, again, folks. like, subscribe, guys. Hit the yes. notification button, please, and please get to the contest. Again, I apologize for last week. The video was kind of yeah, um, yeah. I'm really sorry about that. We're week. working on it. We we're working on it without Mustafa. Yes, uh, we miss him. Like, dude, good luck in college. You know, make us proud. Get them girls. I'm telling you, son. Don't get the girls. Get a career. Oh yeah. Do do the girls uh, come later. Do Scarface. Get the money. Then you get the power. Then you get the. Then you get the women. Uh-huh. Folks, have a good night. Later, see you next week. Thank you.